Yo, what's up everybody, it's Mizan. We're about to drop into a world of turquoise waters, white sand beaches, and spicy noodles that'll rock your world. Phuket, Thailand, baby. This place is on everyone's bucket list for a reason. But planning your first trip? Man, it can feel like navigating a maze blindfolded. Don't trip, I got you. We're breaking down everything you need to know to crush your Phuket adventure. From the best time to score that perfect tan to staying safe, respecting the local vibes, and making sure you don't commit any cultural faux pas, Consider this your ultimate guide. Let's do this. All right, first things first, let's talk weather because nobody wants to get caught in a monsoon when they're trying to work on their tan. Imagine planning your dream vacation only to be stuck indoors watching the rain pour down. Not fun, right? Phuket's got that tropical vibe going on. Hot, sticky, and ready to party. It's the kind of place where the nights are as lively as the days with beach parties and vibrant nightlife. We're talking three main seasons here. Each one brings its own unique charm and challenges. You got your hot season blazing from April to June, where temperatures can soar and the sun is relentless. Perfect for sunbathers, but maybe a bit too intense for some. Then the skies open up with the wet season from July to November. This is when the island gets drenched, but it's also when the landscape turns lush and green. Plus, it's a great time for budget travelers as prices drop. But listen up, the real sweet spot, the time to book those flights, is December to March. This is Phuket's peak season, and for good reason. Think sunshine, blue skies, and that perfect beach weather. It's the ideal time for all those outdoor activities, from snorkeling to island hopping. But, yo, even if you're scrolling through this in the middle of June, don't sweat it. Phuket's got something epic to offer year-round. Whether it's the bustling markets, the cultural festivals, or the serene temples, there's always something to do. Just remember, always check that local forecast, yeah? It can make or break your plans, especially if you're planning on hitting the beach or going on a boat tour. Especially during the low season, those seas can get wild. The waves can be unpredictable and it's crucial to stay informed. Nobody wants to be caught in a rip current. So pay attention to those flags on the beach. They are there for your safety. Red flags mean stay out of the water no matter how tempting it looks. Safety first, people. And if you see a yellow flag, it means caution. Swim with care. So pack your bags, check the forecast, and get ready to chase the Phuket sun. Whether it's the peak season or the off season, this island paradise has something for everyone. Enjoy the sun, the sand, and the vibrant culture that makes Phuket a top destination. Okay, real talk time. Safety's not a joke, especially when you're in a new place. Rule number one in Phuket, stick to bottled water. Tap water, not your friend. Ice is usually cool, they use clean water for that. Now, dengue fever isn't super common, but why risk it? Pack that bug spray, especially if you're venturing out at night. Those mosquitoes are hungry, man. And listen up, this is important. Thailand does not mess around with drugs. The penalties are severe, so just don't even think about it. If you're renting a scooter, which, let's be real, you probably are, be extra careful. Traffic here can be wild and accidents happen. Nobody wants their trip cut short because of a fender bender. And just in case, memorize these numbers, 191 for the police, 1155 for the tourist police, and 1669 for an ambulance. Hopefully you won't need them, but better safe than sorry, right? All right, let's talk about respecting the local culture because nobody wants to be tourist, right? Phuket's steeped in tradition and showing a little respect goes a long way. When you're visiting temples, dress modestly, cover those shoulders, guys and ladies, keep those knees under wraps, and take off your shoes and hats before you enter. It's a sign of respect. Now about those Buddha statues. They're not souvenirs, okay? These statues are sacred and hold deep spiritual significance for the locals. Treat them with the reverence they deserve. Also, avoid pointing your feet at them or touching them unnecessarily. It's all about understanding and honoring the local customs. Same goes for Buddhist tattoos. Unless you're Buddhist yourself, it's considered super disrespectful. And listen up, this is a big one. Don't criticize the Thai royal family. It's actually illegal and you can get into serious trouble. You'll hear the national anthem playing at 8 a.m. and 6 p.m. every day. When you do, stop what you're doing and stand respectfully. It's a beautiful way to show your appreciation for the country and its people. Oh, and one last thing. You can't buy alcohol on Buddhist holidays. And even on regular days, convenience stores only sell it during certain hours. Just something to keep in mind when you're planning those sunset beers on the beach. Also, be mindful of your behavior in public spaces. Loud and disruptive behavior is frowned upon. 
The Thai people value harmony and respect, so try to blend in and be considerate. Learning a few basic Thai phrases can also go a long way in showing respect. Simple greetings like Sawadi, hello, and Kop Kun, thank you, can make a big difference in your interactions. Remember, being a respectful traveler not only enriches your experience but also leaves a positive impression on the locals. So, embrace the culture, follow the customs, and enjoy your time in beautiful Phuket. All right, let's talk staying connected because in this digital age, going off the grid completely just isn't an option. The good news is getting connected in Phuket is a breeze. You can snag a SIM card right at the airport or at any convenience store. They're super cheap, usually around 50 baht, which is like nothing. Just have your passport handy for registration. Now, for all you voltage nerds out there, Phuket uses 220 volts, 50 H's electricity, and the plugs are type A, B, and C. If you're coming from the US, you're golden. Otherwise, pack those adapters. Don't be that person frantically searching for a converter when you could be out exploring the island. Chapter 5. Let's talk money because nobody wants to be caught short on cash in paradise. The currency in Thailand is the baht, and right now, one US dollar gets you around 30 baht. ATMs are everywhere and they usually accept international cards. Just a heads up, Thai ATMs dispense cash before they return your card. It can be a little freaky the first time, but don't worry, it's totally normal. Now, when it comes to shopping, especially at those awesome local markets, haggling is part of the game. Don't be afraid to negotiate a little, it's all part of the fun. But keep in mind, haggling's not a thing in convenience stores or shopping malls. Those prices are fixed. Tipping isn't mandatory in Thailand, but it's always appreciated. And here's a pro tip. You can actually reclaim VAT on certain goods at the airport. Just show your passport when you're making your purchase, and you're good to go. Chapter 6. All right, let's talk about getting around Phuket. This island paradise is not just about the beaches and nightlife, it's also about navigating its unique transportation landscape. First things first, they drive on the left side of the road here. This can be a bit disorienting if you're used to driving on the right like in the US or many European countries. If you're from the US, it might take a minute to get used to, but trust me, you'll adjust. Just take it slow at first, and soon enough it will feel like second nature. If you're renting a car or a motorbike, you'll need an international driver's license. This is crucial for avoiding any legal issues and ensuring you're covered by insurance. Don't leave home without it. It's a small document, but it can save you a lot of trouble. Taxis are metered, which is always a plus, but motorbike taxis aren't. This means you need to be prepared to negotiate. Make sure you agree on a price before you hop on the back. A little haggling can go a long way in ensuring you get a fair deal. And keep an eye out for those drivers in brightly colored vests. They're the real deal. These vests indicate that the driver is licensed and regulated. Just a heads up, traffic in Phuket can be brutal, especially in Phuket Town, Patong, and around the major attractions. The roads can get quite congested, particularly during peak tourist seasons. If you're in a hurry, give yourself plenty of time. It's always better to be early than to stress about being late. But honestly, the best way to experience Phuket is to embrace the local transportation. It gives you a real feel for the island's culture and daily life. Hop in a tuk-tuk, flag down a song to, that's a local bus, or grab a minibus. Each mode of transport offers its own unique experience and charm. It's all part of the adventure, right? Navigating through the bustling streets, interacting with local drivers, and experiencing the vibrant energy of Phuket is something you won't forget. So take a deep breath, hop on, and enjoy the ride. Chapter 7. Okay, last but not least, let's talk about getting to Phuket. The good news is, most visitors can enter Thailand without a visa for up to 30 days. That's right, 30 days of exploring this tropical paradise without any visa hassle. But listen up, this varies depending on your nationality. If you're from the US, Canada, Australia, most of Europe, or a bunch of other countries, you're good to go. But if you're not sure, check the latest visa requirements online or with your local Thai embassy before you book those flights. Better safe than sorry, right? Once you've sorted out your visa situation, it's time to book those flights. Phuket International Airport, HKT, is a major hub, with flights coming in from all over the world. And once you land, it's time to start your adventure. So there you have it, folks, your crash course in all things Phuket. With these tips, you're ready to dive headfirst into this tropical paradise. 
From those picture-perfect beaches and crazy delicious food to the vibrant culture and friendly locals, Phuket's an experience you won't forget. Remember to pack your sense of adventure, your sunscreen, and your appetite for amazing experiences. Safe travels, everybody, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.